Schubach. Nice. Can you read this word for me? Naimitsu. Hi, Naimitsu. So Naimitsu is a way to say like some keep like to keep something secret. It means like privacy. But naimitsu. a lot of times it means like let's keep it a secret. Let's keep it privately. Let's let's say this is a private piece of information. So it ended with Mitsu. What did it start with? Nai. Hi, Naimitsu. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi, it said, Kimi ni yume shi o ageta koto wa naimitsu da. Hi. Uh, so it is something, it's a secret. What is a secret? The koto of the ageta o. Ah, um, the meal, the dinner that you gave to me, the, but it's a koto. So, the fact that you gave me dinner, let's keep it a secret. It, it's a secret. I'm uh, back with the particles. I feel like, yeah, okay. So, the, the meal that you gave me. Mm. Yes. Okay. Right. I'm pretty sure it's the the meal you received, right? I get that is to give, right? It is to give, but Kimi has me here, so it should be the the, the meal I gave. I gave. You? I, well, if I'm speaking, why would I use <laughs> agedu in in the first place? Uh, oh, so it's not kureta. If it had been kureta, it's the meal that I received. Yes, kureta would be I received. Okay, uh, so I get that meaning the other direction. So the meal that I gave you. Yes. So the fact that I gave you dinner is a secret. Hi. <laughs> uh, can you read this for me? Majutsu shi wa dorobo ni tegami o Kaita. Hi. Um, the magician wrote a letter to the thief. Perfect. So let's start with Nai. What did it end with? Mitsu. Cool. So what did Nai Mitsu mean? Nai Mitsu means secret. Okay, can you read this for me? Watashi ni yume shi o kureta koto wa naimitsu da. So, watashi ni meaning to me, for me, yume shi o kureta koto, the fact that I receive food, food is a secret. Yes, perfect. Uh, next is doka, which is kind of like saying like, please, in you know, like a kind of dramatic kind of way, I'd say. Rather than like kudasai. Doka. So one thing they might hear is doka. I need to be sudo. Well, normally the sudo will be dropped. Well, we step. Doka, uh, meaning how? Do uh, mean how? It is from how. So it's basically saying how and however you could possibly do this. Sweet, like make it a secret. Doka. How can it be secret? Not how could it be, but like how. It's like saying, like, no matter what you could do, please make it a secret, kind of. Like, do, do ka. Like, no matter what happens, keep it a secret. Do ka, nani to me. So it's a plea. Please it do is it a plea. Somehow. Anyhow, yeah, make exactly. it happen. That's a good way to it. Do it anyhow, somehow. Exactly. It's some kind of plea. Nine, do ka, nani to me. So this uh, me comes from, like, ni sudu, basically, which means, like, to do do it. some yeah to make it to do something but you will never really see it with the ni sudo you basically just see toka ni to me and then it'll be like a period basically saying please keep it a secret Hi. and next is tadashi which is however tadashi the Hi. other one is tadashi yes tadashi and tadashi um Hi. can you read the sentence for me Tadashi, kimi 
に手紙を書いたことはどうか内密に。However, the fact that I've that I、um, wrote you a letter, please keep it a secret. Perfect. Nice. You know what honto means? Honto. Truly. Yes.、Factually. And of course, that takes ni. Honto ni. Honto ni. Hi. You know what tayori meant? Tayori. Something compared to or often. Good guess. Yori can mean compared to. Tayori, the ta, does actually have kanji, though this book doesn't use it. Tayori has this kanji. This means to depend on something. For example, tsueyo, tayori ni aruiteru means walking while depending on a stick. Well, not a stick, a staff. So、uh, if you do tayori ni suru, the thing that you're depending on gets ga. However, you can also do tayori da. And then the thing you're depending on gets ga. So both kimi o tayori ni suru means to depend on you, and kimi ga tayori da means to depend on you as well. But the difference is that ga is when it's da, and o is when it's、um, suru. Right. What does do suru mean? Do suru. Some, do something. Exactly. Do what? Do something. And if it's a question mark, it's like, what should I do? Or something. Do suru. Okay. So, something you have probably seen before is,、uh, I guess maybe you haven't seen this. The first time doing this, temo. Temo is te form plus mo. So, demo and temo are both examples of this. This is a way to say even if something occurs. For example, can you read the first sentence for me? Nusundemo,、uh, anata no koto ga suki. Right. To this steal. Means, even if you steal,、um, I like you, basically. Even if you steal,、okay. I like you. Nusundemo, anata no koto ga suki. How about this、is、sentence? This, yeah? Is this the same、uh, construction as the one you, you taught me earlier with, say, Like、uh, it's 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 the、uh, volitional form o and then suru, like yo suru or sho suru or something.、Oto、Even though、suru? I tried, to, but it did not. Yeah. But it did not、um, occur. It did not I, I don't know why I'm probably, the probably fail, I think, is just there randomly. That, that's not insinuated in here.、Um, this is just even if. Oto suru is to attempt something. It is, I attempted to do the action, and you probably failed to do the action.、Um, demo is even if. So, this action may or may not occur. It doesn't matter whether or not it occurred.、Um, it just, if it occurred or when it occurs, it, it doesn't really have any relationship with the second period of information. So, Even if you killed someone, I would love you, would be another sentence that you just like demo there.、Um, or our next sentence, can you read it for me? Sukamate mo isuka nigeru. Hi. This means even if I'm captured, one day I'll run away. So basically saying、right. it doesn't matter if I get captured, I'll escape at some point. So it's a way to basically say the first piece of information doesn't matter anymore. So, right, so this,、yeah. this is a way of stating that the conclusion is already predetermined, irregardless、yes. of what the new, irregardless of what the fact or the event is. It's、yes. already decided. Yes. And a lot of times you will also see this form with the, ver- with the adjective e, which is good, to give someone permission, being like, oh, it's fine, even if you. Drink water or something like blah blah blah. <laughs> non demo i yo, something like that. It, it's like you said, it, it, if you do whatever this is, it's fine. The conclusion's already predetermined. But yeah, that, that's a good way of thinking about it. 
Um, how would you say, even if you run away, it's okay? Nigetemo e. Hi. That's all you gotta do. Nigetemo e. It's fine if you run away. It's okay. It can all. It can also in insinuate. It's with e specifically that you should run away. It, it has. It's a. It's like a polite way to insinuate you should do something. Um, right. So now we do have that volational form we were talking about earlier, which is like o. How do you think suru will turn into volational form? This is an irregular verb, so it can be hard. So yeah, just um, guess something. So I heard from the mas masu form was masho. Hi. The o form of mas. Hi. But this is not mas. This is suru. Hi. Shimasho. Hi. Shimasho would be the mas form of um. Suru. Of uh, shimas. Shimas. So suru is sho. Hi. Um, Shio. Yeah, shio would be uh, what I was looking for, which is the uh, volational form of sudo, uh, short form. Our book is written in short form. Sure. Okay, perfect. Sure. Um, uh, can you read the sentence for me? Ma doseki o nusundara Dara i no kana. Hi. Da. So rather than saying demo, which is even if, tada makes it more hypothetical. So it's just more like you're musing about something that might happen in the future. Like, hmm, if I steal a magical stone, would that be okay? I wonder if it's okay. It kind of has a very um hypothetical kind of feeling to it. Tara. Because Tara, Tara is it. It's, Tara. But it's a personal it. Personal. It is a not really a personal, that'd be Nara. It it's it's a it's a conditional if it's it's a conditional it doesn't if. have to be subjective. It could be uh it, it, it's basically, it's talking about a few, it's when it's if, it's normally talking about one future event, if that makes any sense, um, versus other ones that might be like always or something like that. So basically it's saying like, kind of like right now, if I steal a magical stone right now, would that be, would that be okay? I don't know if that would be fine. Um, so yeah. it, it it's kind of more specific for the occasion than some of the other tadas. Um, nada is a person specific, if, where it's very much this specific human being, if that is true, they should have did this or whatever, whatever that is. Um, but yeah, can you read the second I, sentence for me? Sukamatara doshio. Do do what do you think that means? If I get capture Hi. what will i do exactly perfect okay do you know what tanomu meant you uh you shoku tanomu tanomu to rely on yeah to rely on i rely on okay Give so let's two. go read our line from the book nebori hondo ni Right. So just so you know, the wakaranai is I. Waga. So Brandy, the person who wrote the letter. He just is saying who he's talking to. Okay. So Tanamu. Kimi da ke. Kimi da ke ga tayori da. Hi. If we say that tayori is to rely on yes. ga kimi da ke, I can only rely on you. Yep. Please, I can uh, only rely on you. Anamu, please, neburi, honto ni truly, do shitara ika, truly, what what would be good to do? What would be the appropriate things to do? Hi. 
I don't know. Yep. I have no idea. Everybody, I have no idea what what I could really do. Oh, please. I can only rely on you. Hi. Uh, do you happen to know how to read this word? Hi Gaku Ko. Hi. This right here would be Gaku. Gaku. Hi. They drop but a you're correct. If this right here was uh like this, that'd be Dai Gaku <laughs> College. Dai. But this Good. is Dai, Dai Gaku. Which is uh, rather than being college, university. it's basically yeah. So daigaku, daigaku is university, but daigaku is actually more like a large school or like a academy type thing. Um, oh, an academy. Yeah, it is a educational facility established in a in a in affiliation with a government agency. It's the I see official uh, reading, but basically you can think about it big school. A cool. good, cool. good, cool school. So yeah, in this case, this part would be read first. Gakko, dai gakko. Um, our next word, kojo, is principal. Kojo. Right. So this is the the boss man of the school. Hi. Um. So now we're reading the end of the letter. Tell me what you guess what kegu might mean in that context. Kegu gu is a tool. K. No idea. Let's come back to it. Wemeto Majitsu Dai Gakko Kojo Machutsushi Buranbi. Oh, he signed himself yeah. with a long title. So, so. so self significant. <laughs> yeah. In grandizing. Yeah. Uh, Kego. Ke so Kegu is a way how you end letters. Yep. So it's kind of like an English saying, sincerely. Kegu. Oh, it's just the right way you end letters. It doesn't necessarily mean sincerely. Like you wouldn't use it on its own, but it's what goes at the end of letters. So in English, we write sincerely, blah, blah, blah. You just say your name. Kegu. Uh, kind of uh, like how earlier we saw Shinai Nebari. Which isn't really the word dear, but it's used like that in letters. Shinai. So but I I'm kegu. curious what those kanji, the first kanji mean. K. Gu is a tool. We know um, that. K is honor. So a tool of honor. Is uh, what it means. Like song K. That might be a word you know. Song K. Yeah, oh, okay. Song -ke. Respectful That's language. Right. Respectful. So he so, basically say respectfully, yep. sign, way metal. A tool uh, of respect. I am Willamette. <laughs> head, basically pr head principal of the magical school of way metal. So, so. Uh, magician Buranbi. Perfect. Nice. And now we're going back into the diary, Nebody's diary. How do you think you read this? Mean and perfect. Two years. And do you remember how to read this word from last time we met? Uh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh hats. Good guess. This is actually right. Tui. Tui ho. Tui ho sare. Hi. To what pause. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is to be um uh banished. Yes, exactly. To be whole to be banished. Nice. So our next word tatsu. This is for um time to pass. To. The passing of time. Hi. For example, what does this say? Ninen ga natta. Ninen ga tatta. Two years pass. Exactly. Perfect. How do you read this number? Nijunen. Hi, Nijunen. Years. Okay. years. Um, can you read this for me? Nijunen ga tatta to kaita. It was written that 20 years has passed. Perfect. What is the passive form of kaku? Um, so something is missing in the middle. The 
passive form of kaku. Kaku is to write, to be passively written on was kake, kake, kakeru, kakaru. So good guess. So kaka. So it's gonna have a ka, and it is gonna end with ru. What do you think goes in the middle? Kakaeru. Your. Kakaeru. Yes. Kakaeru. Perfect. Kakaeru. Nice. Nice. And I wanted to quickly do something. Kakaeru. Oh, okay. So the ku is becoming kakaeru. Hi. Kakaeru verb. Yeah, so the ah uh, is kakaeru. And that is the passive form. Passive okay. written. Can you read this for me? Sono koto ga kakarete ita. Hi. Sono koto, that thing was written. Hi, that thing was written. Nice. You know what nado means? Nado, nado to the. As much as to, to not the really, Nado is like etc. or something like et that. Et ah, along the line of these kind so, of things. Yep. And can you read this line for me? Hi, Ninen ga tatsu koto na doga kakarete inai. Hi. So it's not. Yep. The negative was not written. What was not written? Two years. Tatsukoto. So this tatsu is. What is this tatsu? To pass. But to pass with tata. So this is the dictionary form tatsu. So it's a little bit hard to with a Japanese. So like rather than saying has passed, it's like is will has is passing kind of has has passed rather it's like do dames the fact two years will pass. So if you said tata, that's kind of just saying it's very aggressive, like the two years have passed. We are done of the passing of the years. So it's kind of like it feels more like a very aggressive point in time than tatsu. So it's like two years are being passed. It's kind of what it gives off in this context. Hi. Ninen ga tatsu koto na doga. It has been sort of two years that has passed. Right. The nado here is basically saying the thing that's been something not written inside of here is something like the fact that two years have passed. Like that's not written in here. That two years are passing for us. That's not uh, written. Something it's not like written that. It has passed. So uh okay. next word is hitokoto. Hitokoto <laughs> is literally like one word, but it could be a couple more words than that. It it just means like to, to say something short, basically, like a minimum amount of words. It's hitokoto. <laughs> Um, what does it say? It says, Tegami ni hitokoto de kai kareta ka kareta. Hi. In the letter, a few words was written. Exactly. Yep. A few words were written. And next is rashi, which is seems like. Rashi. Hi. Can you read this for me? Tegami ni hitokoto mo kakare nakata rashi. It seems that in the letter, not even a few words was written. Perfect. Nice. And ikanimo is like as expected of somebody. Ikanimo, I think. Ikanimo, as expected. Yeah. Just like that person, Ikanimo. Okay. Just like him. So here's our last line, but I'm going to quickly turn return on my phone. Hi. Okay. So let's go read it. Tegami ni wa 
inside that letter, what she got, what she referred to I, the old man, the old man speaking in his speech. Uh, this one, something whole, whole. You're right. Whole, yeah. Right. Nichunen mo tatsu koto nado. Hitokoto mo kakarete inai inakata. Ikan ni mo bura brandin brandirashi. Okay. So in the letter, what she got? What um, do kara The fact that I've, the fact that I have been banished from Werumeto for some twenty years, you know, those thing was not even mentioned for a single word. Perfect. Um, ikanimo, just like him. Exactly, Ura just like him. him. Yeah. And then Rashi in this context basically means also just like him. Brambi Rashi, like Ram, like, like Brambi. So it's just like Brambi. Convenient for getting the fact that I was banished for 20 years. Just, just, just. So, so it's like Brambi. Hi. Um, any questions before we go? Nope.